Uh, Nia Long and May, and May Yudaka have officially entered Sp Splitsville. A source revealed to people that the situation is unfortunate and painful, but Nia is focusing on her children and rebuilding her life. Now, a representative for Nia Long confirmed the news and shared that Nia and Emma are no longer together, but remain fully committed to co-parenting their son, Kez. Is anyone surprised? Or did y'all think they'd get back together? Key, why, no, you thought that she should stay with them. What do you think about this story? You know, I'm, I'm actually surprised that they split. Um, granted, she's got good cause to. I'm just wondering if she's still waiting on the Celtics to call and check on her. <laughs> 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 so crazy. Okay. That's it, though. Okay. All right. Al, what you think? <laughs> listen, I'm, I'm, this, I'm going to break it down like real, real. I'm definitely surprised that they split. And I think it's bull crap. Honestly, just from the gut of my feeling, think about it. She's been with him for 13 years, Claudia and Q, and they have a kid together. She knows her man. She For 13 years, they haven't been married, but they've been dating on and off. She knows what's going on with her man, and I think she knows his lifestyle as an athlete and as a huge coach for an NBA team that was going for the championship, right? This is what I think. I think that she was publicly humiliated and personally provoked by her fan base. This is my opinion, by her fan base to discontinue her relationship with this man. I think the overwhelming judgment of people coming to her defense and saying, Queen, you don't deserve this. You are, you don't, you're the best, blah, 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 blah. I think that forced her to make this snap decision. I know a lot of women, a lot of women in reality television and entertainment that these types of pressures from their fan base and the public scrutiny pushes them to do things that normally they would give second chances for. That's what I feel like is the situation here. Okay, well. Uh, first of all, I'm going to say this, being a coach for anybody's team, I don't care if you coach in Little League, if you my man, you ain't cheat on me and getting away with it. It's not happening. That's number one for me. Number two, um, Nia Long, if she was with them for 13 years, right, and they still hadn't gotten married, but they were engaged, there was probably some underlying issues there. Maybe this was the straw that broke the camel's back. You know, and when you are when you are a celebrity like that, being publicly humiliated, it, I think the stakes are a little bit higher. Just like she can't embarrass him publicly, he can't embarrass her. And when you, one of them breaks that promise, it's it is devastating. And you're right, Al, the fans do put 10 on 20. It does make the wound feel a lot worse, but it doesn't. I think if she really want to be with them, she would have stayed with them and, and F all our feelings. She's probably sick of them. This mm. probably ain't and like this probably, probably ain't the first, not time. the first time. I'm just about right. to say probably ain't the first time. So like you right. said, it's probably the straw that broke the camel's back. I'm just still wondering if she wait. The Celtics people, Celtics people. <laughs> y'all should call around her new house and check on her since that's what she's expecting of y'all's organization. So somebody call around there and see about her. Oh my God. I know it sounds ridiculous, but she probably, I guess because she, she felt like they put it out there so publicly, right? And she's right. like, heads up. Um, they probably didn't see it at the Christmas parties and all kinds of things. All the wives have probably been faking her face. All the executives' wives probably been faking her face, mm -hmm. saying mm -hmm. what's up. You know what I mean? When you think about it like that, then I can think about maybe... You know, somebody's wife should have been hit me up and been like, hey, girl, they about to put this publicly in the news. Not the Celtics really reach out, but oh, she, you're, there's a sisterhood with all the wives and girlfriends. Y'all, we all sit together in the same section. There's a, a whole little area. Hold on, what like, you just said? Huh? I meant them. <laughs> they <laughs> all you, sit and together. Now she get her one little piece of man. Now she talking about me. <laughs> now she part of the basketball <laughs> wives club. Girl, shut up. Right. Get off my line. That's right. Me and Jennifer Williams. Okay, anyways, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> you see how she a mature change that conversation in two <laughs> seconds? Listen, what more do y'all want from me? I done gave y'all enough. All I right, hope you on. don't have to get a call from the organization, honey. <laughs> and get checked off. Well, I got a big mouth. I ain't near. Right. I get embarrassed. Everybody get embarrassed. I'm just letting you know right now. Okay. Moving on.